Hello and welcome back to X-Plane 11 everybody and today well we're going to be checking out some sensational photorealistic scenery which you can see in the background right now but first of all I need to put a big shout out to Andrew in the last video I did Andrew said look you've got to go and check out Lindemann's X-Plane scenery for New Zealand it's absolutely brilliant and that's exactly what I've done and so what I thought I'd do today is just show you a little bit of the South Island of New Zealand and what the scenery has to offer and also show you how to download and install this because this has got one little added feature that just makes it absolutely brilliant and I'll run through that very very soon but before we do that let's do a bit of a musical montage with some of the scenery on offer and then when I come back we'll uh, we'll talk about some of the features Absolutely brilliant and uh, look I think the best way to really illustrate the quality of this particular scenery is to compare the stock standard X-Plane 11 scenery on the left there. This isn't probably a fair comparison to be honest. But you can see here the uh, photorealistic scenery really bursting out there with the hills and the valley and the shadows and all that sort of stuff. Really comes through quite nicely and there you go once again you've got the comparison between the X-Plane stock standard and the Lindemann scenery. Here goes that added feature that I was talking about and it's the fact that there's a texture patch to make the ground level textures non-blurry. So usually when you get down low with this photorealistic scenery everything looks really really blurry but as you can see it actually looks pretty decent if we just taxi this uh, airplane off the runway. Don't recommend this by the way but look at that. Those ground te textures are actually pretty decent and it's a great little feature so you've got quality scenery right from the air right down to when you taxi into the gate so really really loved what they've done with this particular scenery okay let's run through how to download and install this outstanding New Zealand scenery and what you need to do is go to this page right here it's Lindemann's blog I'll put the link down in the description there uh, by the way if you really enjoy the scenery uh, you got a few dollars to spare. Flick at Lindemann's way. You can there's a little donate button right here, so get into that. But essentially, there is a couple of downloads you need to go ahead and download, uh, depending on which part of New Zealand you want. So essentially, what Lindemann's done has broken it down into all the different provinces in New Zealand. So you just need to select which ones you'd like to install. Of course, you can install the whole lot, just make sure you've got plenty of drive space. So, for example, if we're going to download the scenery which I showed before, which is in the Otago province of New Zealand, click on the South Island R3 right here, and you'll bring up this particular download page here. So as you can see, you've got Canterbury, Otago, Southland, Tasman, and West Coast. So I went ahead and I downloaded the uh, torrent for Otago which provided a zip file which we'll take a look at right now. Okay I've got a folder set up in my X-Plane directory to hold all my downloads and here it goes right here this is the South Island Otago um, download and I've gone ahead and extracted the file and as you can see here goes all the different tiles here. Now a trick for young players is to notice that you've got two 169s, two 170s and one 171 but the trick is that some of these are 46 and some of them are 47. It took me a while to figure out the difference between these files uh, because I'm a bit slow. But what you do is you extract all these files and then you go into your main directory for X-Plane 11. You go to custom scenery and you just simply paste those files in there. And as you can see, I've got some other uh, Ortho for XP files in here. But here goes the ones for Otago for Lindemann's. Uh, photorealistic scenery for that area. So that's the first step to get the main files in there. Okay, what you want to do then is go ahead and start up your X-Plane program and then once you get to the main menu just exit straight out of the program. Sounds a bit weird but that's what you do. Then what you want to do is open 
your scenery underscore packs INI folder, which you can find in the X-Plane directory. And what you'll see is you'll probably have some Ortho for XP files, these ones here, these scenery pack files down the bottom here. You'll probably see that they're up the top here somewhere. And what you need to do is cut and paste them and put them at the bottom of your scenery underscore packs any file. So by the way, what I'd recommend is go and download Notepad++. Uh, it's a great little program. It's free. It's a great little program if you want to uh, amend any sort of configuration files and stuff like that. You can use just the normal text um, program that you have in on uh, most computers, but this one here just gives a bit more flexibility. It's color-coded. There's a few other things that it does. It just makes life a lot easier. But like I say, what's going to happen is you start you up your simulator, close it down, come into this file, put all your, your Ortho for XP files at the bottom of this particular file. The other file you need to download is this little patch right here. You click on that, it opens up this screen here, and there goes the link right there. And what that will do is improve those ground textures so you've got some nice defined textures as opposed to the blurry tile you're usually going to get with this sort of scenery. And I've extracted it and as you can see the file names are exactly the same as the other ones from the main file. So the only difference you'll notice that is if you go into the file the only one of these folders that have anything in it is the terrain folder. And these TR, TER files you're actually going to go and replace the original ones with the ones in here. So all you do is go and cut and paste all these folders here, then navigate your way back to the custom scenery folder in your main X-Plane directory, and you just go and cut and paste those new terrain files into the appropriate files right there. And that will replace it with that really cool looking high definition ground texture. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you download and install those files. And like I said, that's how you basically do all Ortho for XP files. Of course, a lot of the other ones don't have those ground textures. So you're just going to have to have blurry textures at ground level. But uh, this particular one does have that feature, which really adds to it, as you saw in those uh, screenshots from earlier in the video. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, Lindemann's New Zealand photorealistic scenery, absolutely brilliant. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you're new. And until next time, everybody, take it easy.